what's good youtube welcome back to another video here on the channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make your social media watermark in 2023 so yeah let's get into the video guys so first of all this is only gonna work if you have the same username for all your social medias so yeah basically you download the pix art app the super impose and the fonto super super impose is basically like the erase app so yeah and then make sure you also download the logos of the uh, social medias that you are gonna be using for example snapchat tiktok instagram and twitter is what i'm gonna be using as example in this video so make sure you download the logos from google or wherever you can download them so yeah let's get started with the first step so basically you open up your pixart app and then uh, you download the checkerboard on blank and then you just save it to your phone that is what we're gonna be using to uh, yeah you'll see it later in the video but and then uh, you open your superimpose app do that create new uh and then you just select background add the checkerboard which will show as a white uh, page in your photos and then you just and then you add a layer for add layer we're gonna be using the logos that we downloaded which will be in my folder you also want to make sure that you keep your stuff in one folder so yeah we select twitter we're gonna start with twitter for this one you select it press next remove background and then you just press the side the nike sign and then it removes the background for you and then uh once you're done you press done save this save the layer save it and then press on the close delete the layer and just add a new layer so delete and then you add a new layer for a different uh, logo so next we're gonna go with snapchat select next and just repeat that whole process remove background and all that so yeah basically that's how you do it so save it and then uh save go back to the close close it delete uh, this layer add a new layer until you're done so i'm just gonna fast forward and then i'll voice over for the next part Okay, so once you're done with everything, you go to the Photos app and then you just uh, click on your recent uh, project and make sure that the background is black and not white. So that's basically what we want to achieve. So let's get into the next step. Next, open the Fonto app and uh, select the camera in between. Press plain images. Oh, this thing is a little bit fast, man. Choose any size. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to go with 16 by 9 so after press use at the share button and then you just type the text first of all we're gonna type the text so i'm gonna type my username which is at uh, tlt underscore v and then uh i am using the oswald bold if i'm not mistaken for my font so i will show you guys yeah bold so and then done We'll put it in the corner just for now so that we can occupy the other space and then basically we'll add now the images of the logos that we uh remove the background from so yeah
and then uh, once you're done you just basically start uh, rearranging the logos in the kind of like pattern or format you want them to look like i mainly go for instagram at the front because it's kind of like the main out of the other three but yeah basically just rearrange and then uh you just bring the text closer to the the new uh, watermark that you just made and then from there you just save it at the share save image and then you open it in photos just to make sure that you know to confirm that it's the way you want it to look like so there it is in my photos and now we're gonna try and remove the background using uh, erase just like how we did for the other uh, logos so delete this layer add layer and then we just add uh, that recent work we did so yeah remove background and then it starts removing your background for you and then done we are gonna have a little bit like of like color problems but then you can just like shade it in you go to cut uh, press on restore and then you just start shading in those uh, missing parts of the black on the text so yeah I'm gonna show you guys but then after that I'm just gonna like fast forward to the next step so you just restore that uh, missing uh, paint so yeah basically that's what you do so next once we are done we just uh, s press done and then we save the layer just like how we did for the others but then it's gonna be a little bit different uh, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about first of all I'm trying to uh, level it I guess with my eyes but it doesn't really matter so yeah so you guys can see once we save we have those like white spots that you can just like go back to erase and just erase properly but I'm not gonna do that instead I'll show you like if you take your time how you will achieve a good looking uh, text without those white stuff but then I'm not gonna do that in this video but I do advise that you take uh, more time than I did just to you know clean up those errors and all that so save it uh, just like how we were saving with all the others what's going on here and then you just go check in the photos just to see you know how it looks without the white background and that's how it looks and as I said you can actually spend more time clearing those errors but now we're gonna open the CapCut app which is the app I use uh, to hold up oh yeah so this is the most uh, clear one that I did this is the one that I use on my channel so if you take if you spend more time on this you will get it looking like that but basically I opened the CapCut app this is the app I use to edit my YouTube videos so I'm gonna open my newest video which is this one and I'm just gonna overlay and show you guys how I add my social media watermark so select apply and then just make it a little bit smaller and then shift it to one corner and then damn shift it to one corner one side of the screen and then basically overlay it for the whole uh video and basically that's just how i make my social water uh social media watermark and that's also how you can make your social media uh, watermark and uh yeah basically that's that um uh, and then if you want to add uh, animation just to make it like bounce or rotate and all that you can do that but I keep mine plain and simple. I might be changing it also Welcome because I want another video like here on the channel. So you do that and uh, yeah. Alright gang, so if you guys enjoyed that uh, video, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 100 subscribers if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, make sure you subscribe. Follow me on all my socials. It will be in that corner. 
and uh yeah let me know if you guys like the video by liking this video because my comments are turned off so i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and until next time peace